welcome all to our youtube channel in today's video we are going to see overview of rs inverter in the overview of rs we will see system requirement the architecture of rs and the basic component of rs so let's see rs inverter requirements if you are new here then please go and watch our previous video that is for prerequisite of rs as well as please go through the client server architecture these two videos are highly recommended so please go and watch i will provide those video in the i button as well as in the description box so let's see requirement of rs as we have seen previously rs require client server and browser as we know rs support microsoft client the client machine require at least windows 7 on it the os of client machine should have at least windows 7 version or higher version of windows the client machine should have microsoft.net should be installed on it and also that microsoft.net should be with secured policy next is apple client aras also supports on apple client the os x 10.8 mountain leon or os x 10.7 leon next is the client browser coming to the client browser we can access aras on microsoft internet explorer that is version 9 at least it's required or higher version of microsoft internet explorer also we can access aras from the mozilla firefox as well as from chrome also next is server so we can install aras on server which should have the os windows server 2008 at least it's required windows server 2008 OS or later the server machine should have IS version at least 7 or higher version of IIS the server machine should have microsoft.net framework and for managing the data it's required microsoft SQL server should be on server machine the SQL server 2008 at least is required or higher version of microsoft SQL server it's required understanding the basic architecture of RAS. to know the basic architecture of RAS, you should know the client server architecture if you don't know the client server architecture please watch our previous videos or go through any other stuff from the internet i will provide the client server architecture video link in the i button as well as in the description you can go there and check so let's see the basic architecture of RAS the client the client the client is the machine which request for the services to the server RAS uses web based browser interface it's require very few client resources we already seen that RAS innovator supports microsoft internet explorer mozilla firefox as well as it also support Chrome for accessing the RRs. So you can treat our browser is nothing but the client here. Client request some data to the server. The server, innovator server is same like our server only. Server is responsible for providing services to the client. The requested data is sent back to the client. Innovator server is the remote machine which provides requested services or requested data to client. Server is connected with the database server. So database is responsible for all our data. We are storing all our data in the database server. It's managing all the data in the form of tables all the configuration rules and codes 
as well as solution business objects are stored in the Microsoft SQL Server database. The next thing is World Server. World Server is also the same like as our server. It stores the file related information in it. World Server is a separate server application maintains information about files that are linked to objects in the SQL Server database. And also vaults are there. Vaults are nothing but a directory which store the files inside it. A file directory location made known as vault server to store physical files. So let's see the work of architecture. The client. Client is nothing but our browser. We access RAS from client from our browser we requested some data to the innovator server suppose we are requesting item type called part we'll see what is item type after some time so that item type data that will check in the database and it will get processed if Suppose we require some part related files. So that files will get checked in the vault server. As we know, vault server is for responsible for managing the file related data. And that vault server will check that file in the wall and it will send back to the client. This is the working of architecture of RAS. These are some few different templates. We will see how we can work with templates. Basic solution component item type. The item type is nothing but the blueprint. Everything in the RAS is item type. An item type is a template that defines the structure of business object in the database. Each item type has corresponding table in the database that stores the item of that type. Suppose we created item type with name test. Then automatically in the back end, the RAS will create one table in the Microsoft SQL with name test property. Property is a piece of information tracked about an item. Each property has a name, label, a data type, a number, number of other settings to define behavior. A property corresponds to a column in the item times table. So in the RAS, the table name is same name like as item type name, and the attribute, the column name are whatever the properties we are defining of that item type are nothing but our properties. If Suppose we are we have defined the item type name called test and we have defined some properties on it name, label, etc. So it will create table with name test and also the col the column of that table is name and label. So relationship type. Relationship type is nothing but the link between two items. Link between two item types. So here uh, the link the linkage between two item type is called relationship type. In that we have source item type that is parent item type and the related item type that is child item type. Relationship type is defined item type as related to one another. The behavior of the relationship relationship has have source item type and optional related item type and the relationship item type. The form form allow a user to interface with item and often use to view and edit instance of a particular item type. Form are configured using drag and drop utility stored in database and rendered dynamically. 
form in the RAS is similar like our normal forms in the Suppose we created that test item type and the property we have assigned name and label. So we can create one form and item type called test and we can assign those properties on this form fields fields are nothing but ui primitives that used to display information on the form some fields are required fields or some fields are not required you can keep it as a blank methods a method is an innovator item type containing executable code that is from client side or server side we will see what is client side and server side in our upcoming videos so a method is innovator item type containing executable dotnet language code in c sharp or vb.net or javascript action and event trigger the execution of method method determines the behavior of an item so these are some basic components of ras let's see so the item type is there item type have properties on it and the linkage between two item is called relationship type one item is related to another item that relation is called relationship type and the item type have forms and the forms have fields on it and the methods method is define the behavior of an item we can we can assign action and event on method the next is item relationship the linkage between two item is called relationship here there are two item type and the relationship of these two item type is called relationship type and whenever we created the relationship whenever user assign relationship then the one more item is get created by with the name relationship type and also it's created the table of that relationship type in the database identity for identity you should know first of all what you mean by user user is as our normal user only for every system or for every entity some user should be there to consume that utility or to utilize that thing some user should be there so aras also have user and every user have its own access every user have his or her own credential he can access that system with his credential that is username and password so the hierarchy is whenever we create user in the aras automatically the identities of that user the corresponding identity of that user is created in the back end for more help and support you can visit to this site i will put these links in the description box so that's it in this video i will catch you in the next video till that time learn code explore thank you so much thank you so much